Hi all. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick update on um, some of the options I picked um, way back um, in November, in November 2020, when I ordered my um, when I ordered it, um, and it got delivered. I think uh, end of July. Um, so I, I guess that wait it didn't. It's not that long um, in reality. Um, so sort of eight months, seven or eight months, I think overall. Um, so I'm hearing lead times are speeding up, I think, um, on new new vehicles. Um, but yeah, um, I thought I'd take you through some of the options I've picked and, and sort of the reasons why, um, just in case you're looking for, uh, as you're building out yours and you're looking at some of the options and thinking if it's worthwhile or not. So, you know, I've had the vehicle now for probably like four, four months, um, so around four months um, where I've used it and where some of the things I've, I've used and some I haven't, and maybe just give you some of those pointers. Uh, so starting off with the engine, I picked a four motion, which adds you know, six and a half K. So it's not like a cheap up, upgrade, um, but I think it's more because it's a, the, the family vehicle. Um, I just want it to be a bit safer with the kids in the back um, in winter and in certain campsites in certain weather conditions. So I mean, it's entirely up to you, but, you know, I thought, you know, four-wheel drive may may make a difference. It, it might not, but um, we'll come to see uh, this winter and also um, when I book sites where it's um, the weather's a bit wetter and um, campsites are a bit um, boggier, I guess, um, which I'll feedback maybe um, when I've got a bit more um, experience, I guess, under my belt. So uh, that adds, as I said, 6.5K. It's not, not a cheap option, but for me, I thought that's the reason I went more of a family decision. So I go to the interior. Um, I think, oh, actually, uh, I need to go to the paint. Uh, how do you go back? Sorry. Yeah, so go, going to paint. Um, so there's a lot of options in here, but I think when I spoke to the other half, the decision was we wanted something that stood out a little bit more and looked more like a camper van. Um, so that's why we went with two-tone. Um, and we had a picture of this sort of the old style camper van um, in these two-tone colors. So that's why it's sort of like, um, we've got a picture in our, in our house with that. So it's kind of resonated with us. So that's why we picked this option. It's not a cheap option, and it actually has increased since when I bought it last year. It's it was around 2,800. It's now 2,910. Um, but it's more a visual thing, so and a, more of a personal thing. So uh, go to the interior. So interior, you don't get the option in this bit. So I'll take you through that in the options to win the one that I picked. It's more the um, the in inner sort of suede uh, fabric and the outer sort of fake leatherette. Uh, if we go to wheels, uh, we picked the 18-inch Palm Palmerston wheels. Um, I just felt they looked quite um, quite good with the car, the overall look. Um, so in t again, it's personal choice, but you do get um, a mobility kit rather than the spare wheel. So under the car, so just take that in mind. Uh, move to the option. Actually, that's a you know, and that's a 1,300 pound option as well. So and go to options. Um, so I'll take you through. And what I picked and sort of why. Um, so I didn't go with the bright brushed grey because um, I, I preferred the look of the um, the current. It's got like a textured look, like carbon fibre-ish, I guess. But I didn't want like a, a brighter uh, um, brushed grey because I don't know if they scratch or anything like that. You'll see them easier. Um, now the seats you don't get get any options. Um, they come standard. You can't really move them up and down. I think that's, that's the swivel option. It would have been nice in the update where you know they gave a bit more of the uh, more comfort there, where you can actually adjust it, but they didn't. And also they removed the um, the left side, the footrest um, in the automatic, so you've got no way really to put your feet. But uh, putting that aside, um, so yeah, the options of the wheels um, going down. I picked the Navigation Pro um, uh, more for, again, because I like these, the bigger screen um, with uh, Google Android, um, sort of like the map and stuff like that. I don't use the um, the actual VW system, nav Navigation. I just don't feel it's as user-friendly. Um, so that's why I use the Android Auto or the Apple CarPlay. Um, and the bigger screen, it just makes that a lot cleaner and easier to read. Uh, when you're seeing when you're using it um 
now the comfort and convenience piece um that i didn't go with the storage net etc because it comes with a second drawer in the bottom bench and i actually use that for the in the boot to put the um the the ramps the self-leveling the leveling ramps um they fit perfectly in there so that's the reason i didn't go with that option um we're going down uh i use i yeah, i picked the drive assistance package plus just for it just covers most of the options that i wanted um so like the heated adjustable wing mirrors um the traffic uh, sign recognition so the high beam control etc and, and i think some of these things are now standard like the adaptive cruise control i think is standard um and yeah the lever uh, ste wrap steering wheel etc uh, i think some of those are standard now but um, you're only paying for those upgraded pieces anyway. So that was about £800 on top. Um, I didn't go for the hill start assist, etc. I just went with bog standard full motion. Uh, so these options only present themselves when you go for the full motion. I didn't go with any trail assist, etc. Because the reason I got the camper van is I don't want to add uh, like a trailer or anything like that on the back. Um, because I'm, I want it... I want it for daily driving i want to you know keep it compact i don't know if that makes sense but i wanted minimum as minimal as i could um and so far it's it's worked so um i probably will i guess uh, regret maybe not having a tow bar um so even the option of the um being able to add it at a later date uh, more for bike racks than anything I didn't go with any sports styling packages because I wanted to, as I said, keep it as classic as possible on the modern platform. Um, and I went with a Chrome pack instead, uh, which which I'll talk through uh, slightly down below. Um, the driver profile selection, that's uh, like, I know it's quite a hefty amount, one, one and a half K, but I went with that mainly because I thought it included um, the sports um the sports mode on the gear um so you get higher revs but um it doesn't come with that anymore they've replaced that more for emissions etc um so it, what it does come with is the weighted steering and the suspension um profiling um and i have used it quite a lot actually um on long journeys on the motorways where you can go in comfort mode and it just softens the suspension uh makes it more of a relaxing drive uh, and then when you come to towns and, and cities and stuff like that, then you can put it into normal. Um, I think the, well, the sports mode in it is a bit more aggressive. So you get a lot more shakes and bumps, et cetera. It's mainly you'd use that for when you're on your own. It's empty. The car's quite empty, et cetera. So you get less rattling. But yeah, it's been useful. Um, I'll probably use it probably six times out of 10, you know, when I go away, mainly for the motorways. Um the power sliding door, I use that all the time and I picked it mainly for the kids so that they can open and shut the door easier. I can open and shut it from the driver's side as well. And you can, I think you can turn it off as well. So been useful and it doesn't make a load of noise when you're um, out and about, you know, in a campsite, it beeps once or twice. It's not that, you know, it's not that bad. So um, been, been useful so far. Uh, wooden floor. Now that's one that I'd probably not pick uh, the second time around. Uh, mainly because I've just put carpets down, um, which is a lot more comfortable. Um, I think wooden floor will only be valuable um, when you come to resell it, I think. Um, I don't know. But I, I wouldn't pick that going forwards. Um, it looks good, but not really practical. Um, the chrome pack, which I talked earlier about, just to give it that, that view. So that um, when you look at it, it's this strip down the bottom here. Um, and then it's got some strips at the front. I just make it think it makes it look a lot, a lot, a uh, lot better, I guess. Um, so again, it's personal preference. Um, I don't know, I've lost lost my place uh, in here. Yeah, so chrome pack. So it, yeah, it adds basically the side strip, the front makes the glossy middle pillar a black. So that's the this bit in. Uh, in between the window and the back piece so it makes it look a bit more seamless uh, so I think that visually that looks a lot better um, so I'll go with that um, it also adds I think the the cornering lights on the, the fog lights um, which is useful because when I come to park the car you know you can you know you go turn left and turn right it lights it all up 
so it has been that I do find that useful. Um, some of these options are new, uh, like the acoustic package with heated windscreen. Uh, that wasn't available when I got it. I think it's all um, double glazed anyway at the back. Um, I didn't go with the heated winds front windscreen anyway, uh, mainly because I didn't know what the cost might be when you, you know, if you stone chip the, the, the front windscreen and need it replacing. I just thought it had loads more cost uh, to the replacement. Um, so I just went with bog standard. May regret that. Um, so please put in the comments if you have found that useful um, or have been using it lately in the, in the colder weather. Um, let's go down the roofed pop-up roof. Now I've kept it to the black only because I think when it comes to like summertime and the light, etc., I didn't want the, the vehicle to like inside be red or blue when the sun pops through. I just wanted a, a, a more relaxing in, interior. So I think the standard black is, is perfectly fine. Now differential light I didn't go with again. As I said, I went with a bog standard four motion that only presents itself with the four motion uh, engine selection. Um, so that's uh, more against personal preference again. I don't think I'm going to go off road or anything. So hopefully that that wouldn't be wouldn't be needed. Um, I went with a shower connection just mainly because kids beach washing feet etc. That probably be useful. So that's why I picked that one. Um, the bed extension and comfort sleep mat went with that as well. I think everyone seems to think that was that's a good purchase um, for three hundred quid. I think you can go with, you know, if you go to some of these websites, these um, like Camper Van Tastic and and those sort of ones, they they do sort of uh, optional. You can you can buy them separate. Um, down here, awning. I went with the silver only because of the colour of the two tone. Uh, it just makes it um, blend in a lot more with the silver awning. So if you look here, it just blends it in a lot more. Um, so I think that's been useful. I, I prefer that option. Um, and I actually selected that right at the end um, after I've already picked and rang VW and they, they added it in uh, at a later date. Um, so that's 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 good. Um, if we go down here and back down. So this is where you can pick your uh, the um, art velour seats. It adds the um, <clears throat> it's like a light grey uh, velour inside and leatherette outside, um, which again may not have been that useful given that you cover the seats up anyway. Um, so I think it's just down to personal preference. If you're going to cover the seats up, then maybe probably just go with a bog standard. Um, the direct tire pressure monitoring system now. Wanted to go with that, but I think when they called me up, that, that would have added. I think there was shortage on parts that would have added an extra month onto the lead time. So I decided to go, you know, remove that option. And also, I think if you're going to replace tires, etc., just I know these things can break, so it just removes some of the cost, I think, as well. I went with four control keys because they cost quite a bit on their own. And, you know, if you're going to sell it on as well, I think this adds a lot of value. So um, keep that in mind. Um, the safe box, I didn't actually add safe box to my options list, but it for some reason it, it, it was added. Um, and I don't know if I actually paid for that or on top, but I've got the safe box basically. I've never used it yet. So... I guess it depends if you're going into Europe or going abroad further and you've got passports, etc., whether you would want to put those in the safe box. Personally, I'll probably keep them on me um, just in case the van got stolen or something like that. Um, it's great to have it, but I don't know how user usable it's going to be. I guess that's personal preference again. Um, and these ones here, I think these, I'm not sure about all these pieces because I didn't I think some of these things are standard as part of the other options, so I don't know what they're going to add. Um, like the light package, I think most of this already comes part of it. Um, I mean, I know I've got all these, so um, I'm not sure if some of these things are new. Um, yeah, so it comes part of the driver assistance package plus. So um, yeah, so the, so some of these things are already already selected when you when you look at the vehicle itself. Okay, so so that's basically the options that I sort of took out, um, and I don't know what's happened here. It's sort of like uh, I need to reset it. 
there you go yeah so that's all the options picked um that i really went with and the reasons i went with them um i don't know if that's helped if you're looking to do something similar um but that does add quite hefty i think it's about, you know nearly 11k added on top of the base price um so you know 885 to 86k um was the base price but i did get you know i don't know you know talking around if you go to drive a deal or some of these other websites they come out and give you sort of like sort of 10 to 12 percent discounts um so you can get that down and and i actually went to a vw liverpool who who, who managed to match quite closely not 100 percent uh to to those deals and you know the reason we went with liverpool is because of um I think California Chris and you know all the advice you know they they know their stuff um so that's why I went with them uh, personally um I mean they kept me informed all the way you know and they helped with the uh, make sure I got the extended warranty the gap insurance etc etc so overall I think it came to around uh with the discount around the 72 mark um so you know decent uh, discount uh, from them Although I think, you know, overall it's probably overpriced anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I was comfortable with that price. Um, so that, yeah, that's the sort of list options list. Um, hope you found that useful, that section. Um, um, and if you're looking for something uh, similar and you want some advice on some of the options or you want a bit, bit more explanation on them then drop a comment below um, and I'll respond. Um, yeah. So thanks. Bye.